please ensure that you have read and understood all instructions on the screen before undertaking this job. Start by parking the vehicle on flat, level ground with the handbrake applied. Turn the vehicle off and ensure both front and rear wheels are suitably chocked and the vehicle is safely secured before proceeding. What's up guys, here with an MQ Triton. We're gonna show you how we install our res mounts on the MQ and MR models. Then we're gonna show you how to route the res line just to get the best clearance on that res line, making sure your tire, upper control arm, and sway bars and that don't hit it at all. So this one fits up on top of your strut tower and mounts to the strut mounting bolts. So once your strut's fitted in there, you can just slot this over the top of your two strut bolts there and retaining obviously your factory strut bolt uh, strut top bolts to wind that on. Obviously on those nuts before tightening them up, you want to use Loctite 262. Make sure they're tensioned up to the spec shown on screen, obviously so that res mount doesn't come loose and that caused your res line to fall out. So I've got that virtually, it's not finger tight just purely for the fact you can't finger tighten that style of uh, nut up but I've got those tightened up just to a point to hold that in place. Now we're gonna route the res line and really show you how to do that and get that best clearance. So obviously with fitting the strut up, there's gotta be a specific way to make sure that res line's mounted the correct way. As you can see here, we've got the res line facing outwards towards the front of the vehicle, as well as being inwards towards the chassis. You don't want it out here. That way is running it forwards, obviously runs away from your CV, which is probably your most dangerous part for a res line to cause damage. As well with this one, we're actually going to be putting a nut cert in an, into the chassis, into a pre-existing hole. So that's just here, just up in front of, this is in front of the bull bar mount, just up, up under the guard here. We're going to put a nut cert in that, so we can run a P-clip and the res line to here, keeping it out of that turning circle of the wheel and right up into the res mount. If you don't have a nut cert, you can use a bit more of like a heavy duty zip tie or something between these two holes. You just wanna make sure it's obviously something that's gonna last a while. You don't wanna have to be replacing it all the time or be worried when out on those rougher roads that something's gonna contact it. As you can see here, you want your res line running forward of virtually this bolt out to where you put the nuts out in, that way you can P-clamp it to there. And that's gonna give you the most clearance, making sure obviously it sticks up above your sway bar. Once it's all aligned like that, you make sure it's got nice clearance, you can begin tightening up these hose clamps to hold the reservoir in place. And then we can put the P-clip into that nut cert and we're good to go. So now you can see we've got the res line all routed up out of the way of your steering. Before driving the car, you obviously want to drop it on the ground, turn it full lock side to side, make sure that that res line does clear your tire. If not, you just will have to obviously adjust that to avoid the tire. Obviously that does change depending on your wheel offset, tire size and width and that sort of thing. But always you need to check that before taking the car for a full drive. Once that's done, the res line's all cleared, you're ready to hit the road, she's all done.